So let's go ahead and look at number properties for a second. Basically, number properties is uh, knowing when you get an even, a positive, a negative, and odd out of a combination of numbers. So this is pretty pretty simple. Um, but basically, it's all the pairings of odds and evens together. So in an equation, basically the idea is you have to do the same thing to both sides. So if I have the equation x plus 5 is equal to 10, start simple. If I'm going to get rid of the 5 and isolate x, I have to take away 5 from both sides. So then x in this case would be equal to 5. All right, so obviously they're not going to show you this uh, this easy of an equation on the ACT, but the same exact principle applies. So here's an equation. If 2x plus y is equal to 4 and negative 3x plus 2y is equal to 1, what is x? So there's going to be two ways of solving this. Um, there's combination and there's also substitution. So I feel like most people are pretty comfortable with substitution, but we're going to do both just in case. So let's start over at the left with combination first. So you would go ahead and you would write down your two equations, one on top of the other. And then you would look for how can you get just x and numbers, aka we want to get rid of y. So if I'm looking at this here, I notice that I have 2y and y. If I add those, I'm going to get 3y, which is not what I want. But if I multiply this whole bottom equation by negative 2, then I can cross out my y. So my new equation is the first one, negative 3x plus 2y equals 1, and then negative 4x minus 2y is equal to negative 8. So when I'm going to do combination, I'm going to combine these two that I'm putting a little arrow around, not the middle equation because I've already, I've already, you know, mixed it around a little bit so that it's easier to deal with. So if I'm going to add my two equations, I have negative 3x plus negative 4x. So I have negative 7x on the bottom. Then 2y and negative 2y cross out, which is always nice. And then I have 1 and negative 8. So when I add 1 and negative 8, I get negative 7. So I'm left with negative 7x equals negative 7. So divide both sides by negative 7, and I get that x is equal to 1. And that would be my answer. Now, if you're going to do substitution instead, then you would pick one equation or the other, and then you would try to isolate x. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first equation, because that just seems a little bit more simple. So I've got 2x plus y is equal to 4. All right, so I want to get x all on one side. So I'd say 2x is equal to 4 minus y, and then I would want to divide both sides by 2. So then I'd have x is equal to 4 minus y over 2. Okay, as you can already see, the left side combination is a little bit less messy than substitution most of the time. All right, so then I would take this x and I would stick it into the second equation. I went ahead and labeled this step two so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. Um, but now you have three times 4 minus y over 2 plus 2y is equal to 1. So first you want to distribute this 3. So I could take this equation at the bottom, so negative quantity 12 minus 3y divided by 2, plus 2y equals 1. And then if we're moving up top here, I've got negative 6, because I distributed. Uh, negative 6 plus 3 over 2y plus 2y is equal to 1. That simplifies down to negative 6 plus 7 over 2y equals 1 which then if you move to 6 to the other side, you have 7 halves y equals 7. Then you multiply by 2, so then you have 7y equals 14. And then at the bottom here, y equals 2. And we know from the first equation, if uh, 2x plus y or 2 equals 4, then x would have to be equal to 1. And that would be slightly easier to, in this first step over here, um, say what y is equal to, solve for y and then plug it back in, but 
unless you happen to have a equation that works out, you know, pretty simply, combination most of the time is a lot faster and a lot easier. And it's also a little bit more organized as well. So in general, I would say combination is probably easier, but if substitution is something that you're used to doing and that you like doing, you know, by all means, go ahead and keep doing that as well.